Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. If I could save time in a bottle... The first thing that I'd like to do is to save every day till eternity passes away just to spend them with you. If I could make days last forever, if words could make wishes come true, I'd save every day like a treasure and then Again, I would spend them with you. But there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them. Bum, bum, bum. Looked around enough to know you're the one I want to go through time with. If I had a box just for wishes, and dreams that had never come true. The box would be empty, except for the memory of how they were answered by you. Come on, you guys, you all have to sing this verse with me because we all know this part. This is what makes this song beautiful. Ready? But there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them. Bum, bum. I've looked around enough to know that you're the one I want to go through time with. Bum, 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 bum. Jim Croce, man. That's some good stuff, isn't it? It's so early in the morning, though. It's like 6 a.m., you guys, and I'm trying to sing and drink coffee. Welcome to Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy. I sang that song for Lynn. Sorry, Lynn. So that's, a, that's actually a hard acapella song. And the reason is it's a pretty monotone song. If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing that I like to do. There's not a whole bunch of, it's a very monotone is the best way I can explain it. Song. A beautiful song, but harder to sing acapella because you don't have the background stuff going on that, that keeps you on that key. Anyway, but that's okay. It was... I often wonder, if you're new here, by the way, I start every video with it with a song, so just just listen for a little bit, you'll catch on. <clears throat> I often wonder, like, I get up early like this and I do, I sing the song, and I'm pretty loud, I have a very loud voice. Like, I don't even do it for you guys. I could literally, that song, but there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them. Now that's really loud, I can do that. So there's a window, like, right in front of me. I can't pan right now. I'll show you. Maybe on Saturday I'll show you. Because I'm going to show you the wall on Saturday. So anyway, there's a <clears throat> there's a window that's open all the time because it's the cat door to their catio. And I live in a neighborhood of a bunch of retirees. So they're always up and walking their dogs at this time of the morning, which is dumb because the coyotes are out. So I always want to scream at them, what are you doing? The coyotes are still out because it's dark outside. But I guess they wake up super early and take their dogs on walks. I know they can hear me. <laughs> they must be like... What goes on in that house that they're singing at six o'clock in the morning like that? Okay, I digress. <laughs> Let's get into why I'm here today. Do you know why I'm here today? Because it's Wild Wednesday. Yeah, you guys are getting an extra video this week. I'm a little hoarse. I don't know why. I have no idea. I don't like that, but I am a little bit. Maybe I talked a lot at work yesterday. Could be that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so it's Wild Wednesday, and I have a bonus that's right, boys and girls, a bonus shopping haul for you. So here we are. Um, do you love my mug? <clears throat> I don't need Google. My husband knows everything, of course, but I Google all the time, even on my videos. That's okay. But it's just a funny mug. So when I got married, I actually gave this to him. Now, it's my mug, but I gave it to him to let him know that I know that he knows everything. He does know a lot. It's actually, I don't know where he gets it from. <laughs> Mm. Okay, so let's go. 
um, a couple things. It's Wild Wednesday. Boop, doing a wild extra special haul for you here. If you're new to the channel, this channel's Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. So it means you're getting ready to see a Dollar Tree haul. I do a monthly subscriber challenge this month. It's to make a hat for Effingham. Good morning, Effingham. Mm, I know. You like that song? Effingham likes Jim Croce. It seems kind of like your type of song for some reason. Don't know why. It's your personality, I think. Anyway. Um, we are making a hat for Effingham and then we're going to vote and I'm going to ship back to me the hat that Effingham will wear that one of you people make, right? My besties. So besties, get going on your hats there. Um, also what else do you need to know? Starting tomorrow, I'm doing my challenge where I pull something out of the bowl that you've asked to see and I make it. In February, I'm doing 14 days of love gifts so i'm going to go into the dollar tree every day one through 14 days and up till valentine's day and put together gifts to show you guys how you can even up in the last minute at the last minute get a good valentine's gift from dollar tree all right that's enough right and march is my postcard drive so right now you should all be looking for a postcard to send me putting up a map with pins to show where all my besties are getting ready for the road trip which i know it's three years away but can you ever be too ready i don't think so Road trip 2025, Bell's Bargains goes on the road to meet my besties all throughout the country. Okay, so let's go. Um, it's a haul. So it's a random haul. This is my new way of doing it, actually. I like, really like doing random hauls where I just take it out of the bag and then show you what's in it. Except for this bag. I'm not, not going to get into that one yet. Or this one. <laughs> How about we do this one? I can see something that's on the top of it that's like, oh, I want to wait. <clears throat> okay, I did find, I know there's more in here somewhere, but I found more of the old, old world old world taco Caribbean jerk. When we went into the grocery store last week, they had the old, they had the old El Paso. Ugh. It's too early, isn't it? They had the old El Paso taco stuff. It wasn't the Caribbean jerk one, it was another one, but they were $5 a box. Mm. So anyway, if you see these, they were, they were very good. FYI, they are good until February of 22. So that's not that long. That's probably why they're there. Ah, here's the clear plate. If you guys watched the other day, I talked about making a tear tray with clear and these. So I broke my clear plate, so I had to buy another one. It happens, right? I don't like it to happen, but it does. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to make first, if I'm going to make the clear one or the black and white striped tear. So, okay, let's move along. Um, oh, I got some more headbands because I wear headbands. Actually, I have like a headband line in my hair this morning. This is, oh, did I forget to say it's pajama haul day? I'm wearing my pajamas. I got out of bed, threw my hair in a clip, put some lipstick on, earrings on, and came out here to do the haul in my pajama. I'm not going to lie to you. I did put an undergarment under my pajama. You don't want to see how I actually wear my pajamas at night. <laughs> I'm a woman. Come on. Anyway, um, so I was like, no, they're getting pajama haul. Do you guys like... You should all go get your pajamas on. Rita, I know you're running to put your jammies on to watch this haul with me. Put your jammies on, grab some coffee, watch Amy's haul. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do buy their headbands there. And these, th there's three in a pack, which is actually a really good deal. And it's got the little teeth, so it pulls. I'm in a, I'm in a headband era in my life. It's an era. Um, I really am, though. It's kind of weird. Like, I've just started really getting into headbands. Part of that, I think, is because I'm going off to work again every day, and so getting ready, and, and I can't really do my hair. Like, yeah. I mean, I no, I can't, because I'm up and down running all over all day, so I just put it in a headband, put it in a bun or whatever. Um, so maybe that's why. Okay, let's move along. Extra big sizes of chicken rice, wild rice soup. I love this on the side. It says, great to be topped with Pepperidge Farm little fishies. Um, this is the 13.8 ounce size can. That's good. And these are good until, um, October of 23. Mm, love that. Oh, this is for Foodie Friday. I have a couple Foodie Friday things, but I'll just show you what they are. Peeps. Donut Shop Peeps. I'm not sure. This looks amazing. I'm sure that's good, but I'm going to try it for you guys. And these, I'd never seen these before. They're full-size chocolate-covered wafer bar with hazelnut flavored filling. So I'm throwing those in the Foodie Friday bin. Uh, if, if you if you watch this, you know I do this, but I have a 
like literally a crate where I buy food and I throw it in there for Foodie Friday and then on Foodie Friday I go pull stuff out to try. Um, because you'll see, ran I'll see random things, but it doesn't necessarily go with other stuff, or whatever. So I just pick it up and throw it in there and then pull the stuff out when I do my Foodie Friday. Okay, so I got one of each to show you guys what they had there right now that I found of the big soups. So it's chicken with rice, which I love, um, and chicken noodle. I actually like chicken with rice better than chicken noodle. And tomato. Who doesn't love tomato soup? I didn't buy a ton of them. Um, I just bought one each just to show you guys that they were there. But it is a good buy. And they're all good until 23. Sometime in 23. This one's October. This one's December. And this one was October. So they're good for well over a year. That's a nice shelf life. Um, but anyway, that was all I bought. I'm so in need of coffee. If you, if you guys watched last um, Foodie Friday, I tried these, and I said I'm going to buy them for the grandkids for St. Patrick's Day. So, these are good until 11.30 of 22. I found three more bags, so I grabbed them. Why is that? Because I may not be able to find them when I get closer to St. Patrick's Day. So, they'll go in the St. Patrick's Day bin of stuff for the grandkids. Because I'm always sending them stuff for, like, every little tchotchke holiday, everything. They're kind of spoiled. Are they spoiled? No, they're not spoiled. They just know I love them. And I don't live right there, so I mail them things. All right, believe it or not, I found some Valentine's stuff. Like, wait, what? Why? I don't know. I don't even know that I'm going to do any more Valentine's crafts. But I found it, and then I have to have it. But I don't think this one's Valentine's. And I thought, really, I would send it to my grandson. It says, love you to the moon and back. And <clears throat> which is a saying we use. Love you to the moon and back. Actually, we don't use it a whole bunch, but... His mom uses it with it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So it does not look like Valentine's except for these stinking little hearts here, right? But hearts aren't just Valentine's. So it's red, white, and blue. So my little Moses was born on 4th of July. And I was like, how cute would this be to add a great big 4th of July bow on it and send it to him for his birthday? It says, I love you to the moon and back with it, you know. Anyway, I think that's what I'm going to do with it. But it's super cute. I do love their big... Um, mason jars. They had the ones with the initials in it and fall, which I never did a craft with. They're out there somewhere. I, I know exactly where they are. But anyway, I buy stuff and then I don't get to it. Eventually I will. And these are brand new. Not sure how I feel. So it's got like some foam flowers on it and actual little greenery. Are they watching my videos? No, not possible. But that's exactly the kind of stuff I do where I actually put real, not real, fake real. Instead of painted on florals, they actually three-dimensionalized it for a dollar. Ooh, update. Dollar Tree last night, the lady told me that on the 23rd, they're going to a buck 25. So I guess it's happening in my area soon. So I'm gonna change my slogan. Okay, so they had these two. Um, I'm, I just can't decide if I like them or not, you guys. I really can't. I feel like I should open one up, but I don't want to because then I'll squash the flowers. Okay, so I'm really not sure what, although putting them together might be kind of cute. You know, like making a big hanger, maybe. I feel like they're missing something in the center. So I'm gonna stick them in my Valentine's. If I happen to do any more Valentine's, then I'll, you know. Mm. Okay, be super cute to put a little clip on there and then cut a picture out heart shaped and make it like a little picture frame thing for Valentine's Day. Also be super cute to write a message on this, like make it a great big huge card. Also you could take a galvanized heart and put it in the center of this and then write a message on your galvanized heart. Okay, there's a couple ideas, yeah? Okay, they had to show them to you. They were so different. I have a couple other things in here that are so different. This one which is so cute. It's like shaped like, you know, a envelope. And then it has this in there. So again, you could put a personalized message in it and put that, make that. So I don't know what else I would do with it. For me, it feels like a, um, can I turn it upside down and make it a, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know yet, but it was, it's cute. And it was Valentine's, so I had to show you guys. Is that a good reason? I think that's a good enough reason. Okay. Alrighty. Well, there's that. 
Um, what else? There's another one in here. So they had two. Two of these, and these are that, that pressed wood stuff, whatever they call that, MDF. I'm not sure. I, I say that all the time. I'm not sure, because I'm not sure. And this one says, um, follow your heart. This little envelope. Again, it'd be super cute to put a really personalized message in there and um, mail this off to somebody far away. I'm not doing it because I didn't get enough of them and I've already got all the stuff I need for my um, grandkids for the 14 days of love. Okay, so because I'm sending them 14 days of love and that's 14 days of gifts for Valentine's Day. All right, look at that. See, there's another tear tray idea. This would be super pretty one for food. Like to put, you know, crackers on the bottom, cheeses on the top or something. Cause that just, that looks really pretty, doesn't it? I thought I had a clear bowl also, maybe somewhere. Um, I'm gonna do, probably gonna do a tear tray coming up soon. And I'm trying to decide if I do the clear one or if I do the black and white one. I'll probably do the clear. Cause I feel like it would go better for some, some multiple seasons. But what else is in this magical little box? Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I think I might have to keep it. This is called, it's so, I wish I could find another one. It was 15 I have a friend of mine who I got, she's the one that, that she found, Boji. And then um, her friend had Friday, so she's who I got my cats from. So this is called Ye Old Cat Memes. Cat Humor. The original book of cat humor. It was $15.99. It's weird. It says, higher in Canada. What are they smoking in Canada? What are you smoking in Canada that you're higher? <laughs> They're higher in Canada. Okay, good to know. Anyway, the old cat memes. To Fritz, who loves kittens and cats as much as you and I do. Oh, it's so cute. So look at um, This is I'm Granny Gray. I'm Granny Gray. I'm very, very old, but I'm still going to the Queen's party. I'm grandmother to a great many kittens. When they are naughty, their mother always sends for me. When they are sick, I always know what to do. I teach them how to meow. I teach them how to scratch. I teach them how to catch mice. I'm very, very old. They call me Granny Gray. So these are cat memes. I'm taking my bath. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So I really want to find another one because I want to keep one, but I want to give one to my friend um, just because it's too funny. So... Again, you, I'm always buying books there, but the things, the books that you find, 15, it's a random book, but it's super cute. Okay. All right. Enough about that. Do you want to see the other book that I found? And I bought more than one of, and that is because I love the title. My Drunk Kitchen Holidays. <laughs> it's by Han New York Times bestselling author, Hannah Hart. How to savor and celebrate the year. Okay, so it says she's an entertainer, food enthusiast, social media star, and two-time New York Times bestselling author, Hannah Hart. <clears throat> is back with her biggest book ever, a humorous cookbook celebrating year-round holidays with food, drink, and friends. In a world where everyone is looking for some good news and something to toast, Hannah Hart is there with almost 50 ideas arranged in 12 months of themes and suggestions. Wait. 12 months of theme. By the way, this book was $28. I got it for $8. 12 months of themes and my drunk kitchen holidays. I love this. Okay, so let's see. Oh, look at that. It's by month. Wow. I bought two. Maybe I need to keep one. So what I just thought, what a funny, um, what a funny, funny. Okay, so this is on 1-4 Trivia Day. At the next stop in our January jubilation, we are going to celebrate the mind by filling it with knowledge. That's right. We are celebrating Trivia Day. So in honor of Trivia Day, I'd like to play a quick game with you. Okay. So this is just hysterical. Globe cake. Okay, you guys. This is a good find. But I bought it with somebody specific in mind. Singles Awareness Day, by the way, right there. <laughs> okay. I'm, that's. I might need more of these. What a great gift to give somebody. My drunk kitchen holidays. Okay. Oh, and a couple of hearts. So, okay, here's a perfect example, you guys. Like on this heart. I'm going to go back to this. Like to add another little heart hanging in the middle and then put a message on it would be cute. See that? So... I grabbed these because um, I thought I would maybe throw them into my 12 Days of Love with the kids. But this one's 
messed up. It says, I picked you. That one's messed up. That's too bad. Um, all you need is love. So I thought I'd like throw a wood heart into there. Um, did I say 12? Because it's 14 days of love in there. So these bags are empty. Cat toys now. I throw them on the floor for the kitty cats. All right, what's in this one? It's always so fun. How many of you get home and be like, oh, I forgot about that? <laughs> I do, all the time. All right, so I also grabbed, so Easter's coming out. So I did grab some of these peeps. I already showed you the other one because I am going to do a taste test with them. So this is Donut Shop. This one's Cotton Candy. I don't like peeps, but I will try them for my besties. Another world, uh, old taco thing of robber. And then they had birthday cake peeps. So I'm throwing those in the Foodie Friday. I will try them for you to let you know if they're any good. I just bought these for myself because I love them. I didn't actually. I bought them to throw into the oldest son's 14 days of love because um, he's harder. He's 18, so it's a little bit harder to find him things. And I thought, oh, that would be fun, like some cool food. Then a couple of these for the two younger ones for the 14 days of love. If you don't know what that is, I'm sending off to my grandchildren a package that's 14 gifts through from February 1st to February 14th till Valentine's Day, and it's 14 days of love from Bella. And um, so I sent them a box and wrap presents and their parents will put them in every morning. I did it for Christmas too. I did 25 days of Christmas from, from Marks and I. So this one is for that. Um, oh, brand new. Throwing it in the Foodie Friday kit to try. So this is a potted meat snack kit and it's got six cracker spoon and one can of potted meat. Now, I've had potted meat before, but made with chicken and pork. At, and I don't know. I thought I would try it for you guys. Um, those are nice and convenient for lunches. And a whole bag. There's two of these. It's for the youngest ones. And then I have a bag full of the Monster Espresso. So this one is Espresso with Cream, which is a flavor I had not seen before. We love these. And the, then, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. I found something new. So just to FYI, we use these in the morning. We will make our... Um, coffee to go and then we'll top it with this so we split one between us and top it with with those so they're really good so i found the espresso with cream which I had not found before but then i found and a couple of the vanilla cream which is a flavor I have used before i love the vanilla cream but they also have a caramel one that one i did not find that day but what i did find was something brand new and i'm going to put them in foodie friday and let you know if they were any good but it's nescafe so this is cold brew milk coffee this one is, and then this one is just in black roast coffee drink. There's the cats in the bags. Okay, so they're Nest's Cafe. So I bought them, I thought I would try them for you and let you guys know if those are any good. Okay, Marcus is up. Get the coffee. Say good morning, besties. Good morning, besties. <laughs> you want to gonna pop over? Say hi, wave in. See, he's in his robe. <laughs> He's got his coffee. He's going to get ready for work. Okay, so um, let's move along. Moving right along. Anyway, you guys, these are going into, I'm sorry, I know I interrupted my video, which I'm not sure you guys can tell or not. Okay, but anyway, these are going into Foodie Friday, so I'm kind of excited to try them. Actually, I'm going to put them in the fridge right now, and they'll be part of Foodie Friday on Friday. So we'll try those. Brand new. Never seen those there before. I love to find new food stuff because it's so exciting. Because I need food? No. The cats are still playing with my empty bags down here. <clears throat> oh yeah, a few more books, just a couple more books. Um, this one just looks fun. It's Bunjitsu Bunny and it was $13.99. So apparently there's, a, there's more than one. So this is Bunjitsu Bunny Jumps to the Moon. So my grandson takes, what does he take? I don't know. Chihitsu. <laughs> One of those, right? This is a super easy read. It's probably too easy for him, but I'm not sure. I'm going to send it to him. And because of the red, I thought it would be fun to send in the 14 Days of Love. So <clears throat> it's just about a bunny that takes bunny. But it's, I don't know. It's just a cute book. It's just a cute book. And so for a dollar. And it was normally $13.99. Come on, you guys. You cannot... You literally can't beat that. And this is, okay, so this is on a more serious note. 
let's take the tag off this one. And this one was originally um, $17. And this one is called Final Journeys, a practical guide for bringing care and comfort at the end of life. So for those of you who watch, know that uh, I had a husband of my, who passed away from a brain tumor and I was his caregiver um, at the end of his life. And it was, <clears throat> it's a very trying thing to do, obviously. And all you just, I was so thankful actually that I was there. Um, <clears throat> but this would have been a great book to have. So I, I've bought another book that was similar in topic because if I ever know anybody and that's going through that, I will be the person that would give them a book and say like, hey, read it. I read a book on head injuries because there were similar things to um, to what he was going through, head injuries, brain tumors. Anyway, but okay, enough about that. Let's not get down and sorrowful on a beautiful Wednesday morning. It's hump day! Oh my gosh, Abby Yam. It's hump day! Not cow day, no. Uh -uh. Is there a cow day? I should look that up because there probably is. Okay, this book was not written there. $17.99. I also got this one. For my grandson, it's called Pieces and Players, and it is, what's it about? I don't know, 13 extremely valuable pieces of art have been stolen from one of the most secretive museums in the world. And so it's these kids who go to solve the mystery. So he's getting ready to be 10, 11, 10. And, um, and he's a very good reader, and so this just looked like it was possibly a book that would fit in there so you have to understand with Moses I keep sending because he's such a good reader I keep sending him hardback books and I've told him that I hope he starts a collection of hardback books um and starts it now so I'm hoping it'll stick we'll see but I keep sending him to him well especially when I find him at the Dollar Tree for a dollar this one is not a book it is a portfolio but I wanted to show you guys because I thought it was really cool this is it's like a faux it's just plot you know I don't know what it is. Plastic clear. If this sticker doesn't come off, though, I'm going to be so upset. Oh, it's coming off. Yay. Uh, it's just a cool little, like, keep notes in portfolio thing. And it's really different. I hadn't seen them there before, so I grabbed it. See? It's like that faux alligator or something. Um. Anyway, I'm not sure what I'll use it for. I'm sure I'll use it for something. It'll go in my desk area, maybe just to sit on top of my desk for writing notes in, because it's prettier to look at than just a blank pad. That's exactly what I'm gonna do with it. Well, I know what I'm doing with it now. Now I know. So we keep a list, Marks and I keep a list, so that's what I'll do, I'll make it that. So, um, I, or I, I don't know if we're the only weird ones that do this, but we have a list, like, so if we're doing something, but you know what we need? We need a fan for the office, like we just put in. If you didn't see that fan, go back to Saturday, because it's the coolest fan. You guys have all said something about the fan. Can I just tell you, I didn't know the fan did that until we got in here and put it up. I was like, oh, oh, I bought it because I like the stained glass bowl on, or globe or whatever you call it on there. And I, I've done stained glass. And so I really like that look. And it was going to look good in that piano room because that's sort of the nostalgic room. The vintage stuff is in there. So anyway, um, we keep a list. And if we think of something, we go write it down on the list. And then like every couple of weeks ago, we sit down and we order a couple things and, you know, cut away with it so that's what this list will become it'll be this this will become where we go and write that little list because it can sit on the desk and it won't be ugly okay well there you go there's a lot of info don't you guys love it i give you so much info about my stinking life because i'm you know who knows all right hearts 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 and more hearts so okay i just mostly i just grabbed them because they were hearts and they were galvanized and i did have some ideas for doing some valentine's um, things, but I just don't know what I'm going to do this year. If I'm going to do any more Valentine's or not, I'm not really feeling it. Very I'm going to be honest. One, one for who? I don't know. I'll get you a name and number. Get me a name and number. I have to, you guys know, I have to do our Valentine. He doesn't know what it is. I can't tell you what it is because it's a surprise. Are you making our lunches, baby? Yep. Thank you. That's so, he's so good. He's a good lunch maker. All right, where am I going to go to next? Oh, um, I grabbed some. To go to floral. <laughs> I am. Ah, oh, okay. So just a couple of pieces of greenery, which the cats were just this morning trying to chew on this because I moved the bags and put them on the floor in the kitchen. Like, just do it, will you, little boogers? 
I love to buy their floral, but I use it for lots of different things. I use it in my house all over the place. First of all, I can't keep anything green. Like, I, I kill everything. Um, but for me, florals, I will try and switch them out probably like once a year because they just get dusty and I throw them away. And for a dollar, it's not a big deal, right? Okay, now last week I hauled the um, wisteria and I told you when I got there, they didn't have any of the blooms. And so I just put leaves and bought them with the three leaves because I love the leaves. Well, then I found them. So I bought one just to show you guys this is what wisteria looks like, which by the way, would make, oh my gosh, that would make such a cool little floral headpiece for a little girl. Maybe I should put this in my DT threads, which I will be getting to very soon, by the way. I'm gonna start doing some of those. Isn't that a cute little headband though? Like seriously, you guys. Oh, adorable. Oh, I might have to get pink. It's out, it's coming, it's on its way. Now, at your local Dollar Tree Easter. If you just can't wait for the Easter Bunny, if your eggs want to boil and die already, if you are having chocolate withdrawals in egg shapes, then don't worry, it's on its way. Yeah, Easter. I'm like, okay, and and St. And Patrick's Day is everywhere. It's like, okay, we can't, we, Christmas gone, and then it all starts coming out. I don't know. All right, um, <clears throat> what else is in my mess? Oh yeah, this is for the, 14 days of love. I found their little sugar cookies, which these are good. I think I did them on a foodie Friday for you guys once. I sent these off to them at Christmas when I did their Christmas ones. So these are, I've got five, they had three different styles of these. There's the red one, the XO, and this blue one. And if you don't, if you didn't watch this before, these are distributed by Deco Cookies, um, a product of Mexico, 260 calories per cookie. So, those are for 14 Days of Love for my little grandbabies. My little numbskulls. I love them. Um, what else is in this bag? Oh, also for 14 Days of Love. Because I'm always... Because the Valentine's Day one is a lot of food. The big Rice Krispie treats. And I didn't find... I know they're blue. They don't look really Valentine's, but it's okay. It'll be okay. And what else is in here? Because this is heavy. Oh, I found another room spray, and I don't think I'd found this one before, but it's the cherry blossoms, you guys. If you see these, these are not Dollar Tree. These are Aromar, and um, they smell so good. It says shake. Baby, this is, I'm supposed to shake. Shake, shake with me. Shake, shake, shake. Look at your hair. His hair is so long right now. I told him he's like a 1980s surfer dude, but gray. Okay, this stuff smells so good. Oh, ooh, that's so nice. Cherry blossoms. Okay, so it's not big. It's only two fluid ounces, but it's very strong. It's spitting this morning. Um, shake well, hold upright, and spray lightly away from eyes. May stain if oversaturated. Anyway, you guys, this stuff is so good. So this is like a perfect, look at that beautiful pink. Valentine's Day to give somebody like a sweet little Valentine's. You could do this with a nice little candle. So many ideas. Um, okay, where to next? More coffee. Oh, they have all kinds of colors of vinyl now. You guys, I have not used the vinyl. I've bought some. I need to try and use some soon because I want to know if it's like if it's if it's good stuff or not. But for me, the vinyl, I'm gonna take this one out because I want to show you guys. For me, I'm, I know that the vinyl is supposed to go into machines. I don't have a machine, all right? I just don't have a machine. So I'm gonna cut a piece here. Cutting a little square of the vinyl off. <laughs> sure you are, Amy. All right, so I just cut a little square out because what I, wa what, I wa what I wanna do is use the vinyl. I'm just gonna cut the vinyl out myself and use it for, for I can trace on it and cut it out, right? So I'm gonna show you this. I just cut a little a little heart out, okay? There's a little heart out of the vinyl. And look, it's like a, it's like a big sheet of sticker. So where am I gonna put it on? <laughs> Hold, oh, I know it, look, perfect. See? So that's why I buy it. I don't have the machine. So if you don't have the machine, you can still buy the vinyl because you can use it. 
You could trace letters on it. You could trace anything on it. Um, you can just cover up like the big heart like this. You could cover a big, it could do a blue heart, I suppose. Blue, I'm so lonesome for you. Actually, be kind of cute. If somebody who broke your heart a blue heart, let's say you make me blue. You make my heart blue. All right, so I loved this color of the blue, this sparkly blue. And now somebody gets a Rice Krispie Treat with Sparkle Blue Heart on it. I'll probably put it on all of them, actually. Or, like, heart stickers. So this is not just for vinyl machines. You can use it because you can trace on it and cut out shapes, letters, and all kinds of things. Or just cover something completely up. You need in there, babe? Sorry. Yep. Okay. He's making our copies to go. Uh, also, I don't know why I picked up anything Valentine's, you guys. But this one says a forever, what does it say? Forever. Forever. Name the movie. Movie. So I'm not even sure I can read this. Can you read this? Oh, it says forever and always. You'd have to like really literally, Paint this one needs to be painted to, so you could tell. So I got two of them because I thought I would put them together if I used them. But anyway, it says forever and always. It's going in the Valentine's stash. Probably never to be seen again. I'm not sure. Um, oh, and these I did buy because I thought they were so cute to use for the kids on their uh, 14 days of love because they have like little, can you guys see there's little, um, confetti inside these? They're like bubble stickers and they say all kinds of things. Happy Valentine's Day. So how cute, right? So I got to decorate their stuff up and whatnot. Um, I had to. This is my happy place. <laughs> So this, I actually am considering sending to Lazarus because I live in Arizona. This is a cactus, so it's a representation that I am his happy place. He's my person. Lazarus is my person. I mean, you're my person. Gotcha. He's my person that's a grandchild. Okay, this is my happy place. I hadn't seen that one before, so it's like, okay. And some more Valentines. Well, these are very interesting. They're boxes with, like, hearts in them that move. I think they're, I'm not, maybe they're not supposed to move. Well, that one does. Anyway, again, I bought some last week where I showed you guys, um, like the, that you can put a picture in them. So there's a couple of ideas on this one. This one is just a super cute idea to stack it, to make a decoration where you stack the three of them. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do some Valentine's next week. Stack the three of them, cute little decoration for your home. Just put the three of them together. Another idea is to put a picture in, open them up, put a picture inside of them. Double-sided picture, you can put a picture on each side for a cute Valentine's gift. I don't know. This is just, these are just more Valentine's stuff. Um, this one is, I'm on my way to steal your heart. So I'm going to take this apart, though, if I use it. I would just take this and put it on something and use the red box for something else. Probably Christmas, to be quite honest. But they're just showing you some stuff that they have there. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot there was a series of these. So the little, the little cacti calendars. This is my happy. How many you got? Three. Look between the boys. Yeah, love grows here and live what you love. But they're so cute. They're little miniature cacti, cactuses, um, candles. They have these there where they're like little, they're shaped ca uh, candles. I don't really like them, but those I did. I always feel like they're kind of cheesy. I just felt like those actually weren't that cheesy looking. All right, here's um, this one, XOXO. I'm not, yeah. Just bought to show you some Valentine's stuff that they have there. It's out everywhere right now. So these I did buy for a purpose though, for um, Mod Podging. So I love this love, this is a better view of it. And um, that's all I got this for. And the XOXO heart, okay. So it's going in Valentine's supplies. That's all it's for. Oh, here's another bag of the St. Patty's Day stuff for the kids. I need one more bag. And then, um, oh my gosh, these. <laughs> oh, I must have broken something off my words. That happens all the time. These, I couldn't help myself. I don't know what I do with them, but all I could think about was the commercial where the girls are standing in front of the little topiaries with personal shaving utensils. You know, for down here. 
and they're like, and, and in your head, you're thinking you're trimming your bush because they are. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like that size. And that's all I could think of was them. Anyway, it's bad. But honestly, this is super easy and I'm probably going to throw it in and I'll probably will do some super easy uh, Valentine's crafts on Tuesday because I would take this apart and make it a three heart topiary and I would put it into a bigger, into a bigger thing. So I'll show you and I thought that would be super cute since it requires three. So I'm just going to take it apart and pile up my hearts and then put it in a bigger terracotta thing and decorate it up Valentine's. So easy when the girls are trimming the bush. If you remember that commercial, please acknowledge that for me right now. It was a razor commercial. Not a good commercial. You know why? Because I can't remember what razor it was. If it was a very effective razor commercial, I would remember what razor it was for. I have no idea. Mm. Okay. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close. Um, I did find some Valentine's stuff that I was so happy I found. Because I, this, I wanted it. Now I'm on the lookout for the gnomes. Have you seen the bigger gnomes that they have out? I haven't found them yet, but I'm on the lookout. Um, okay, let's see. This I had to buy. Just to throw in my stash of stuff for little girls. But how cute is that? It's a Barbie unicorn. Sparkle cake unicorn. Be super cute cupcake topper, you guys. If you were doing like a little girl's party... How cute to go get those and put them on cupcakes. Or even a cake, just to do a cake top with that. Such a cute idea. Um, I did find some 100% nylon white. The white nylon twine. This is, it's not normally there. This is sizzle. This is definitely out of something. Um, but this is like super, super thin. I don't know if you guys can see how thin that is. Like thinner than kite string. And I have so many things where like having a thin white like that would be super nice for wrapping or for stitching or whatever. So that's purely for my supplies. Oh, for the 14 days of love. How could I not send them kisses? Of course, the girl gets the pink ones. So those are for them, for that. And these, I got these at Christmas, I think last year or year before. Well, I found them again, and these are the coolest things. So these are going for the oldest ones for 14 Days of Love. This is holographic scratch art. I said three of them. You guys, these are so cool. So I don't want to open one up, but in there, can I open one up? Can I open one up? Don't tell anybody. Do they know when I open things up and show you? Well, if they watch my videos, which they do sometimes, not all the time, I'll get little Snapchats of them holding up their phone watching my videos. It's funny. Okay, so what these are is they have these sheets in here. Let me show you really quickly. They give you these sheets and then these sticks, and it's reverse art. So you scratch on there and make art. Here are the coolest things. So this is what the little box looks like. I'm telling you, it's like a great way to... I love to engage my grandchildren with art for obvious reasons because, you know, their grandmother is very artistic. And um, I think it's just such a healthy thing for kids to engage in art projects, crafts, and whatnot. So something like this, it's such a perfect size. Um, it's a great way for them to do some expressing. Uh, and it's just cool. And there's 50 pieces of that in here. Right? I think those are so cool. Okay. All right. Let's finish this off with some super cute Valentine's stuff that I found. Are you guys ready? Oh, well, here's two more hearts. See, because I did buy enough of these so I could put one in. They could each get one in their 14 days of love. I probably have like 25 things now. 14 days of love. That's okay. I do that kind of stuff all the time. All right. So I found the wood hearts. Mm-hmm. These are so cute. I bought two of the blue just because I wanted an extra heart. But these are so cute. This is another. It would be a super cute topiary thing to make for outside. If I did that, if I was going to do that, actually, I would probably um, double side them and make just a really substantial one. I didn't do that. But I'm just going to give you some ideas. So there's like this. You could do a topiary. Because topiaries are big, are big right now. Um, you could also just do a... Um, just a standing thing. You could put two of them together and it would stand. Actually, you could probably even put this in the center and make a cute little Valentine standing piece. 
Um, they're just cute all by themselves. You can put them back to back so they're, they're three dimensional all the way around. I will probably do some, I'll probably do one like that at least. Okay, so I found those and they're heavy too, by the way, you guys. These are like heavy or pieces. I love it when they have heavier pieces. These also make phenomenal gnome feet. So if you wanted to do a super large gnome, I'm just telling you. Okay. Then I found these. Be my love. Okay. But this one definitely needs to be two-sided, in my opinion, so that it can go there. It says, my love and be mine. I like this. I will. I might even do that with it. And then, of course, you know, I would outline and everything and make it three-dimensional. I'd add something inside here because, of course, we're missing maybe a bigger heart. I don't have a heart, but maybe I do. Hold on. Let me show you something. Like, maybe... But it, no, that doesn't work. I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about it. Um, so this is super cute, but they're by themselves. That's my love. Be mine. Again, these are pretty substantial pieces. Okay. But my favorite pieces that I found for Valentine's Day. Oh, I wanted to buy so many. And these, Effingham, don't look. You're getting one for Valentine's Day, okay? Don't look. Don't look. Close your eyes. I see you, Effingham. Close your eyes. The barns. Oh my gosh. Like how cute would this be up next to Effingham, right? Love lives here. Home is wherever I'm with you. Oh, home is where the heart is. And then I got two. So of the two of the, this one, um, because it was white. I want to explain to you guys why I got that. Okay. So love these, like love these, like just to put three of them together would be so cute. So I got two of the white because the white doesn't, obviously you could do the front and at least I have the, the, the sides are white so I could use it for other things. Um, but I love these. I'm so absolutely definitely putting one up at Effingham. I will do a little bit of embellishment to one of these, probably the red one maybe. Although this is my favorite. The white one is my favorite just because the cows are black and white. So that'd be really cute up there. The problem is I'd want to outline it in black. I don't know what I'm going to do. And this one feels like the paper would come off really easy. Okay, so I found those. Now, the final thing I'm going to show you. Ready, guys? Ready, ready? I went into a Dollar Tree, which is not a Dollar Tree Plus. And then randomly, they must accidentally, every once in a while, get accidental boxes that aren't supposed to go to them. Because this is not a Dollar Tree Plus. But sitting up on the shelf, up on top, with like like nothing nothing special about it. It just said Dollar Plus items. There was this little star that said Dollar Plus items. Because you know they had to put something up because they're not a dollar. I found these. They were five dollars. I'm in love. I'm like in love. Now I don't have a dollar tree plus close to me, you guys, right? So I have to travel to go, which we will be going to one next month when we go to your sister's wedding in Tucson. So I'm telling him, listen, five dollars. These are so cool. Check it out. It's a metal little latch on it. I'm in love. Like I'm in love. This is so beautiful. There's so many things that we could do with this. So one thing I'm going to tell you, like, if you took this and you decoupage the inside of the box with something vibrant, and when you close the box, you would see, right? And then obviously, I'm going to stain these. I'm probably going to use watercolors and actually put some color on them. Um, oh, my gosh. Like, these two. This one is not as hefty. A, so I think feel like this one's a better buy, right? See, this one is a much more substantial, but that's okay. I love the design um, and just like, oh, what a great gift. Decorate them all up or give them give them stuff to decorate up themselves, like to a, a granddaughter, maybe. And um, just, oh, $5, $5. Okay, that's my haul. I have to go get ready for work. Yep, I got 12 minutes, but this looks okay, right? I think I can get by today on this. All right, so tomorrow, Thursday starts my, um, I'm going to make something that you guys asked me to make, so it's going to be random, pull it out of a bowl and make something. Okay, so, all right, you guys, everybody have a great day, great week, a great life. Um, join me back here tomorrow for Themed Thursday. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video, and please, you guys, make some comments. Like, the comments are dropping off. Like, come on, let's go. Oh, I found out, um, I think I get my first YouTube paycheck this month, so I should have gotten one back in... Um, November, but it's so, it's so, there's so much to it. I can't even go into all that right now. So I'm going to get my first YouTube paycheck 
it gets automatically deposited. But I'm so excited. So is Marcus. Offset some of that Dollar Tree stuff. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. See you back here tomorrow for Theme Thursday. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy haunting at your local Dollar Tree. I'm going to start singing those. <laughs> All right, guys. Love you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.